Have you ever wanted to tell a secret to someone but later felt it was a bad idea? Well, sometimes it's best not to share certain things, even if you really trust the person. These things could be personal, like stuff you're worried or scared about, or important, like your money. It's like having a special box where you keep your most special things, and only you have the key. In this video, we'll talk about seven things you should never tell anyone according to the Musashi's teachings. Number one, your dreams and aspirations. In the tapestry of human connection, there exist threads of vulnerability that weave our dreams and aspirations into the very fabric of our being. Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary swordsman and philosopher, left us with profound wisdom that extends beyond the martial realm into the intricacies of personal interactions. In this chapter, we'll delve into the first principle, guarding the sacred flames of your dreams and aspirations. Your dreams are the beating heart of your existence, the compass that guides your journey through life. They are the sparks that ignite the flames of passion, propelling you towards your true purpose. Musashi's teachings emphasize the importance of safeguarding these flames, for in the telling, they risk extinguishment. Musashi's Book of Five Rings teaches us that in silence, strength is cultivated. Your dreams and aspirations are sacred, and not everyone possesses the understanding or goodwill to nurture them. Sharing your dreams indiscriminately can expose them to external influences, be it skepticism, jealousy, or unwarranted advice. Silence becomes your armor, shielding your aspirations from those who may inadvertently dampen the fire. The art of not telling everyone about your dreams lies in understanding that not every ear is attuned to the symphony of your ambitions. Consider your dreams as seeds planted in the fertile soil of your soul. They need nurturing, protection, and the right environment to flourish. Musashi's wisdom lies in recognizing that not every soil is conducive to growth. Select your confidants wisely, those who can water your dreams with encouragement, support, and constructive feedback. Musashi's life journey, as depicted in his masterpiece, The Book of Five Rings, was a solitary pilgrimage of self-discovery. He rarely revealed the depths of his aspirations, allowing the fruits of his labor to speak for themselves. Your journey, too, is a testament to your dreams. Let the unfolding chapters of your life narrate the story rather than the premature revelations that may dilute its essence. Imagine your dreams as seeds planted in the garden of your soul. They need nurturing, care, and the right companionship to flourish. Miyamoto Musashi, in his pursuit of mastery, understood the importance of selecting the right allies. Not everyone, he knew, could provide the nourishment your dreams need. Just like a gardener tends to their plants, you must tend to your aspirations. Guard them like precious blooms, sharing their beauty with those who can appreciate it rather than exposing them to the harsh winds of skepticism or jealousy. Musashi's life was a testament to the beauty that can bloom when dreams are nurtured in the right soil. In the dance of life, not every partner is suited to waltz with your dreams. Musashi's artistry lay not just in his swordsmanship, but in his discernment. He chose his battles and his allies wisely. Apply this principle to your dreams. Be selective in the sharing of your aspirations, for not every ear is tuned to the melody of your ambitions. Selective sharing isn't about hiding your dreams. It's about entrusting them to those who will celebrate, support, and understand their significance. Just as Musashi didn't engage in every battle, you need not disclose your dreams to every passerby. Let the dance of selectivity guide you to partners who will enhance, rather than trample, the delicate steps of your ambitions. Consider the unfolding chapters of your life as a grand performance. In Musashi's legendary life, his achievements were the applause that echoed through the ages. He didn't need to proclaim his victories from the mountaintops. The silence of his accomplishments spoke louder than any words. Your dreams, too, will be your greatest achievements. Let them echo through the corridors of your actions, creating a symphony of success that resonates far and wide. Musashi's wisdom encourages you to embrace the silence of achievement, letting your actions be the narrators of your triumphs. In the face of challenges and doubts, Musashi's fortitude was anchored in silence. There is strength in restraint, 
a resilience in holding your dreams close to your heart. The world may not always understand your ambitions, and that's okay. What matters is that you understand them, nurture them, and let them blossom in the quiet strength of your conviction. Fortitude doesn't always roar. Sometimes, it's the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mizashi's life was a testament to this kind of fortitude. In guarding the sacred flames of your dreams, let silence be your ally, the quiet force that propels you forward even when the world remains unaware of the battles you fight within. As we traverse the landscape of Mizashi's teachings, remember that silence isn't an absence of words, it's a language of its own. Your dreams, aspirations, and achievements will compose a legacy. In the quietude of your actions, let your legacy unfold like a well-crafted tale, where every chapter speaks of purpose, resilience, and the beauty of pursuing one's dreams. Miyamoto Musashi, through the ink strokes of his philosophy, beckoned you to wield the sword of silence, cutting through the unnecessary noise of disclosure. In the garden of your ambitions, tend to the delicate blooms with care, share their fragrance with those who appreciate it, and let the symphony of your life play out in the eloquent language of selective silence. May the legacy of Miyamoto Musashi inspire you to guard your dreams with the same wisdom and fortitude that marked his legendary journey. As you navigate the dance of life, let the sacred flames of your ambitions illuminate the path, guided by the timeless teachings of a master swordsman and philosopher. Number 2. Your Finances in a world where financial transparency is increasingly encouraged, Musashi's teachings remind us of the importance of discretion. Let's explore the second principle, guarding the veil of your finances. Your financial status is a potent force, influencing not just your present, but the trajectory of your future. Musashi's disciplined approach to swordsmanship can be mirrored in financial matters. Keep your monetary strategies close to your chest, revealing them only to those who genuinely share your best interests. Money, like a double-edged sword, can cut through both the barriers of hardship and the bonds of relationships. Musashi's philosophy encourages us to be mindful of the potential harm that can arise when financial details are laid bare. Envy and resentment may find fertile ground in the hearts of others, threatening the harmony you seek in your interactions. Much like Mizashi's patient mastery of martial arts, the accumulation of wealth is often a silent endeavor. Share your financial victories selectively, avoiding the pitfalls of ostentation. The value of your wealth is not in its proclamation, but in the security and opportunities it affords you. Mizashi's legendary restraint on the battlefield finds resonance in the financial domain. Disclosing your financial plans and successes to all opens the door to unsolicited advice, envy, and even potential exploitation. Exercise the wisdom of restraint, confiding only in those whose counsel you trust. Imagine your finances as a canvas where you paint the picture of your life. Miyamoto Musashi, while mastering the art of the sword, understood the importance of guarding one's resources. Your financial strategies are the brushstrokes on this canvas, creating a masterpiece that reflects your choices, priorities, and aspirations. Just as an artist carefully chooses when to reveal their work, you too must be mindful of when and how you share your financial plans. Not everyone in your gallery of acquaintances may appreciate the nuances of your financial portrait. Be discerning, for in the canvas of wealth, discretion is the brush that adds depth to your financial masterpiece. Circumspection, or cautious consideration, is the key to managing your financial realm. Musashi's battles were not reckless endeavors, they were calculated, strategic movements. Apply this wisdom to your finances. Disclose your monetary strategies judiciously, ensuring they are shared with those who can appreciate the artistry of your financial decisions. Circumspection is not about secrecy, it's about protecting the delicate balance of your financial ecosystem. Musashi's philosophy of choosing battles wisely resonates here. Not every financial discussion is a battle worth engaging in. Exercise the wisdom of circumspection to avoid unnecessary skirmishes and to keep the harmony of your financial landscape intact. Wealth, like a delicate butterfly, can be both captivating and fragile. 
Musashi's teachings urge us to be cautious of the dangers that envy poses. Sharing your financial successes with everyone is like leaving your butterfly exposed to the elements. Envy, like a gust of wind, can threaten the delicate wings of your financial achievements. Recognize that not everyone celebrates success with the same joy you do. Your financial victories are personal triumphs, and their significance may be lost on those who view them through the lens of envy. Guard the fragility of your financial accomplishments, shielding them from the storms of jealousy that may seek to diminish their brilliance. Musashi's life was a tapestry woven with the threads of discipline and moderation. Apply this principle to your financial discussions. Share your successes with moderation, avoiding the pitfalls of ostentation. The true value of your wealth is not in its display but in the peace of mind and opportunities it affords you. Moderation is the brush that paints your financial canvas with grace. Musashi's disciplined approach to martial arts finds its counterpart in the realm of wealth. Excess is a distraction that dilutes the true essence of your financial journey. Let the tapestry of moderation be the masterpiece that tells the story of your financial wisdom. Imagine trust as a fortress guarding the treasures of your financial realm. Musashi's emphasis on trust echoes in the domain of finances. Disclosing your financial plans requires a sanctuary of trust, a secure space where the vulnerability of your economic decisions is treated with the reverence it deserves. Trust is the foundation upon which financial alliances are built. Just as Musashi chose his allies with care, you too must select those with whom you share your financial aspirations judiciously. In the sanctuary of trust, your financial secrets are safe and your wealth can flourish without fear of external threats. As we continue to unravel the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi in the domain of finances, remember that wealth, like a well-tended garden, requires care, discretion, and thoughtful cultivation. Musashi's legacy extends beyond the battlefield, echoing in the principles that govern the art of financial stewardship. May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to paint your financial canvas with circumspection, moderation, and trust. In the tapestry of prosperity, let your wealth be a legacy that speaks not just of financial success, but of the mindful choices, disciplined strategies, and guarded privacy that shaped your journey. Guard your financial realm with the same vigilance and discernment that marked Musashi's legendary battles. As you navigate the landscape of wealth, may the echoes of his philosophy guide you toward a legacy of prosperity and financial wisdom. Number 3. Your Personal Problems Life, with its myriad challenges, is a journey often punctuated by personal problems. Musashi's insights guide us through the labyrinth of our emotions, urging caution in what we share. Let's unravel the third principle, unburdening the heart judiciously. Musashi's path to enlightenment was strewn with challenges, battles within and without. Yet he rarely divulged the intimate struggles of his heart. In personal matters, as in martial arts, discretion can be your greatest ally. Confessing every burden to all may sow seeds of discomfort and awkwardness. While Musashi was a solitary figure, his teachings don't advocate emotional isolation. Instead, they underline the importance of selecting confidence wisely. When sharing personal problems, seek those who offer empathy, understanding, and genuine concern. Musashi's artistry lay in connecting with candid spirits who could uplift rather than burden. Consider trust as a sacred garden and your personal problems as delicate flowers. Not everyone is deserving of entry. Musashi's emphasis on trust echoes in our personal lives. Disclosing vulnerabilities requires the assurance that the recipient will treat them with the reverence they deserve. In Musashi's duels, listening was as crucial as striking. Apply this principle to your interpersonal relationships. Sometimes, the mere act of sharing is secondary to the solace found in attentive listening. Choose confidence who comprehend the value of silent support. Picture your personal problems as the landscapes of your inner world. Miyamoto Musashi, in his solitary journey, understood the weight of personal struggles. Not every hill and valley needs to be laid bare for all to see. Just as a traveler selects their companions for a journey, choose wisely when sharing the contours of your personal landscape. 
The landscape of confession is vast, and not everyone is equipped to traverse its emotional terrain. Just as Musashi didn't share every battle scar with the world, consider that not every personal problem needs to be unveiled to all. There is strength in acknowledging your struggles, but there is also wisdom in selecting confidence who can tread with empathy and understanding. Empathy is the melody that can harmonize the notes of your personal problems. Musashi, despite his solitary nature, recognized the power of connection. When sharing personal struggles, seek those who offer the gift of empathy. Individuals who can understand the cadence of your emotions without judgment. Empathy is not a luxury, but a necessity in the landscape of personal confession. Musashi's battles were solitary, but he too sought understanding in the bonds he formed. Allow empathy to be the bridge connecting your personal landscape with the compassionate hearts of those who can share the burden without diminishing its weight. Trust, like a sturdy shelter, is essential when disclosing personal problems. Musashi's philosophy of trust extends beyond the martial realm into the intimate spaces of your heart. When revealing vulnerabilities, ensure that the sanctuary of trust is well established, a fortress where your confessions are treated with the utmost respect and confidentiality. Trust is the guardian that protects the delicate blooms of your personal struggles. Not every ear is deserving of entry into this sanctuary. Musashi's emphasis on trust is a reminder that the strength of your relationships lies in the assurance that your vulnerabilities are held with the same care and reverence as a precious treasure. In Musashi's duels, listening was as crucial as striking. Apply this principle to your personal relationships. Sometimes, the act of sharing is secondary to the solace found in attentive listening. Choose confidence who comprehend the value of silent support, individuals who can stand beside you in the quiet moments of vulnerability. Listening is an art, a brush that strokes the canvas of understanding. Musashi's life was a testament to the power of mindful attention. When sharing personal problems, seek those who are not just eager to speak, but who also possess the wisdom to listen with an open heart and a non-judgmental ear. Consider silence as a resilient force in the face of personal storms. Musashi's battles were not just physical, they mirrored the internal struggles he faced. In the realm of personal confession, recognize the fortitude found in the silence that follows disclosure. Silence is not an absence of support, it's a moment of respectful acknowledgement. Musashi's resilience lay not just in his victories, but in his ability to weather the storms with silent strength. Embrace the resilience of silence, allowing it to be a sanctuary where your personal problems can be acknowledged without the need for immediate solutions. As we navigate the landscape of Musashi's teachings on personal confession, remember that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a profound strength. Musashi's legacy extends beyond the martial arts into the realms of emotional intelligence and human connection. May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to select confidence with discernment, to embrace the symphony of empathy, and to establish sanctuaries of trust where personal problems can be shared without fear of judgment. In the legacy of vulnerability, let your personal landscape be a testament to the beauty that emerges when struggles are acknowledged shared, and met with the compassionate understanding that defines the true strength of the human spirit. Number 4. Your Life Partner's Secrets Love, with its intricate dance of intimacy, demands the highest level of trust. Musashi's teachings extend to the sacred bond between life partners. Let's explore the fourth principle, the sanctity of your life partner's secrets. Musashi's solitary existence doesn't diminish the importance he placed on the sanctity of relationships. In matters of the heart, the bond between life partners is a fortress of trust. Guard it fiercely by respecting the privacy and secrets of your beloved. Respecting your life partner's secrets is not just an act of discretion. It is a shield against erosion of trust. Musashi's battles were fought with honor and respect for his opponents. Apply the same principles in the arena of your relationship, allowing trust to flourish in an atmosphere of mutual respect. Musashi's life is a testament to the consequences of betrayal in both martial and personal realms. Betraying your life partner's secrets is akin to unsheathing a weapon against your own citadel. 
The scars of betrayal can endure far beyond the moment of revelation. Within the confines of a relationship, secrets are shared, creating a dance of intimacy. This dance is a delicate choreography of trust and vulnerability. Musashi's teachings guide us to embrace the beauty of this dance, cherishing the shared secrets that fortify the bonds of love. Envision your relationship as a rich tapestry woven with threads of trust and intimacy. Miyamoto Musashi, despite his solitary path, recognized the sanctity of connections. In the realm of relationships, the bond with your life partner is a sacred space where trust is the loom weaving the fabric of shared secrets. The tapestry of intimacy is delicate and precious. Just as Musashi guarded the secrets of his martial techniques, understand the significance of protecting your life partner's secrets. Trust is the thread that binds your hearts, and the sanctity of shared secrets creates a bond that transcends the ordinary. Respect is the shield that guards the sanctity of your relationship. Musashi's battles were marked by honor. And similarly, in your relationship, honor your life partner's secrets. Revealing these secrets to others is like lowering the shield that protects your shared intimacy. Respecting your life partner's secrets is not just an act of courtesy. It's a commitment to the integrity of your connection. Much like Musashi wielded his sword with reverence, Carry the shield of respect into the arena of your relationship, guarding the private realms you share with your beloved. Within the sacred circle of your relationship, secrets are shared like an intimate dance. Musashi's artistry extended beyond martial prowess into the realms of human connection. Cherish the dance of shared secrets, understanding that they are the steps that create a unique and profound connection between two souls. The dance is a delicate choreography of trust and vulnerability. Embrace the beauty of this shared secret dance, for it is in these moments that the true essence of your relationship is revealed. Musashi's philosophy encourages you to honor the dance, treating the shared secrets as treasures that enhance the depth of your connection. Reflect on betrayal as a storm that can threaten the sanctity of your relationship. Musashi's life is marked by consequences, Victories earned honorably and betrayals met with enduring scars. In relationships, betraying your life partner's secrets is like unsheathing a weapon against your own fortress. The dangers of betrayal are not just external. They can erode the trust within your relationship. Musashi's teachings on consequence echo here. Recognize that betraying shared secrets can leave lasting scars on the fabric of your connection. Guard against the storms of betrayal ensuring the secrets you hold are sheltered from harm. Imagine loyalty as the compass guiding your journey through the landscape of your relationship. Musashi's loyalty to his principles and allies was unwavering, and similarly, loyalty is the North Star that navigates your connection with your life partner. Loyalty means holding the secrets shared within the sacred space of your relationship with the utmost fidelity. In Musashi's code of conduct, loyalty was paramount, Apply this principle to your relationship, letting loyalty be the guiding force that ensures the sanctity of shared secrets remains intact. As we continue to explore Mizashi's teachings on the sanctity of life partner secrets, remember that your relationship is a legacy in the making. Musashi's legacy extends beyond the dueling grounds into the intricate tapestry of human connection. May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to honor the dance of shared secrets, to wield the shield of respect, and to navigate the storms of betrayal with the compass of loyalty. In the legacy of intimacy, let your relationship be a testament to the sanctity of shared secrets, weaving a story of trust, loyalty, and enduring love. Guard these secrets as you would the treasures of your heart, for it is in their safekeeping that the true legacy of your relationship is shaped. Number 5. Your Weakness Musashi's legendary prowess on the battlefield didn't stem from invincibility, but from a profound understanding of his own weaknesses. Let's explore the fifth principle, the art of concealing your weaknesses. In battles and in life, projecting an image of invulnerability can be a potent strategy. Musashi's tactical brilliance lay not just in his skill with a sword, but in his ability to mask his vulnerabilities. Recognize that revealing your weaknesses indiscriminately can make you susceptible to exploitation. 
Musashi's Book of Five Rings teaches us the art of strategic deception. Similarly, in the theater of life, you can strategically mask your vulnerabilities, revealing them only to those whose loyalty and support you can trust. This isn't a denial of your humanity, but a shield against potential harm. Paradoxically, Musashi's teachings also illuminate the strength found in acknowledging and addressing weaknesses. While concealment is a tactical approach, addressing your vulnerabilities with wisdom and courage is the mark of true strength. Choose when to conceal and when to confront, guided by the wisdom of Musashi's martial philosophy. Musashi's legendary journey was one of constant self-awareness. Apply this principle to your own life. Be acutely aware of your weaknesses, understanding when to shield them and when to fortify them. In the dance of concealment and revelation, let self-awareness be your compass. Visualize your vulnerabilities as the shadows that dance alongside your strengths. Miyamoto Musashi's legendary prowess didn't stem from an absence of weaknesses, but from an astute understanding of when to conceal and when to confront them. In the dance of strength and vulnerability, consider vulnerability not as a flaw, but as a nuanced part of your existence. Just as Musashi strategically navigated the battles, recognize the strategic value in concealing certain vulnerabilities. The dance is not about denying weaknesses, but about choosing when and where to unveil them. Share your vulnerability selectively, allowing those who truly understand the dance to witness its intricate steps. Picture a mask as the symbol of strategic concealment. Musashi's Book of Five Rings speaks of strategic deception in battle, and similarly, you can strategically mask your vulnerabilities. This isn't about creating an illusion of invincibility. It's about choosing when to reveal your vulnerabilities and when to fortify them. The strategic mask is your tool for navigating the challenges of life. Like a skilled artist who chooses colors purposefully, decide when to reveal the authentic hues of your vulnerabilities and when to paint with the shades of resilience. Musashi's teachings guide you to embrace the wisdom of discernment in unveiling the layers of your authentic self. Envision self-awareness as the compass guiding you through the uncharted territories of your vulnerabilities. Musashi's life journey was one of constant self-awareness, and similarly, your path should be illuminated by the knowledge of your weaknesses. Recognize that concealment is a tool, not an act of denial, and let self-awareness be your guiding light. The compass of self-awareness ensures that you navigate the landscape of vulnerabilities with wisdom. Musashi's legendary battles were marked by a keen awareness of his strengths and weaknesses. Apply this principle to your life, Choosing when to conceal and when to confront based on the compass of self-awareness that guides you through the journey. Imagine your life as a tapestry woven with the threads of growth. Musashi's path wasn't devoid of challenges, and neither is yours. The concealment of vulnerabilities isn't a stagnant state. It's a strategic choice made on the canvas of personal development. The tapestry of growth is enriched by the deliberate choices you make in revealing and concealing vulnerabilities. Like Mizashi's mastery evolving through each battle, your personal growth is shaped by the strategic dance of unveiling vulnerabilities at the right moments. Allow the tapestry of your life to be a testament to the artistry of concealing and revealing, each thread contributing to the richness of your journey. Reflect on timing as the conductor orchestrating the symphony of concealment and revelation. Musashi's battles were marked by precise timing, and similarly, the wisdom of timing plays a crucial role in how you navigate the dance of vulnerabilities. Timing is not just about when to reveal weaknesses, it's about understanding the rhythm of life. Musashi's philosophy teaches us to be attuned to the ebb and flow of circumstances. Apply this wisdom to your own journey, knowing that the art of concealing weakness is an intricate dance where timing is as crucial as the steps themselves. May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to embrace the dance of strength and vulnerability, to wield the strategic mask with discernment, and to navigate the landscape of self-awareness guided by the compass of growth and timing. In the legacy of authenticity, let your life be a testament to the artistry of concealing and revealing, weaving a story that speaks of resilience, wisdom, and the beauty found in the dance of vulnerabilities. Number six bragging about your success. 
Success, like a gilded trophy, can be tempting to display to the world. Musashi's teachings, however, guide us to tread the path of humility. Let's explore the sixth principle, refraining from bragging about your success. Success often carries the seductive allure of validation. Musashi, despite his numerous victories, remained a paragon of humility. Bragging about your success, like an unchecked flame, can burn bridges and cast shadows on your achievements. Musashi's Book of Earth speaks of the transient nature of life. Similarly, success is ephemeral, a passing cloud in the vast sky of existence. Bragging about your achievements can distort your perception of self and create an air of arrogance. Let your successes compose a silent symphony that reverberates through your actions. Musashi's battles were his testament, and your triumphs can be yours. The true beauty of success lies not in its proclamation, but in the silent echoes of your endeavors. Musashi's humility was not a sign of weakness, but a manifestation of wisdom. In your journey, emulate this humility. Share your successes, not through words of self-aggrandizement, but through deeds that inspire and uplift others. Envision your actions as the notes composing a silent symphony that echoes through the corridors of your life. Miyamoto Musashi's victories were not heralded through boastful proclamations, but through the silent echoes of his endeavors. In the symphony of actions, consider that your triumphs can be more eloquent than any words uttered. Like Musashi, let your actions speak volumes. Instead of bragging about your successes, let your achievements resonate in the harmony of your deeds. The beauty of success lies not in its proclamation, but in the silent echoes that reverberate through the impact of your efforts on the world around you. Reflect on humility as the wisdom that colors your achievements with grace. Musashi's humility was not a sign of weakness, but a manifestation of profound wisdom. In your journey, emulate this humility. Share your successes, not through words of self-aggrandizement, but through actions that inspire and uplift others. Humility is not about diminishing your accomplishments, but about acknowledging them with grace. Musashi's victories were a testament to his skill, yet he remained humble. Apply this principle to your successes, allowing humility to be the cloak that adorns your achievements, making them shine with a quiet brilliance. Contemplate the fleeting nature of glory as described in Musashi's Book of Earth. Similarly, success is ephemeral, a passing cloud in the vast sky of existence. Bragging about your achievements can distort your perception of self and create an air of arrogance that blinds you to the transient nature of success. Understand that success, like a blossom, blooms and eventually fades away. Instead of clinging to the ephemeral nature of glory, let your actions be the enduring legacy that transcends the temporal. Musashi's wisdom encourages you to embrace the humility that comes from recognizing the impermanence of success. Contemplate the temptation of vanity as a lure that can lead you astray. Success often carries the seductive allure of validation, and the desire to showcase your achievements can be compelling. Musashi, however, resisted this temptation, understanding that true strength lies in humility rather than vanity. Vanity can be a deceptive mirror, distorting the reflection of your true self. Resist the temptation to boast about your successes merely for external validation. Instead, let your humility be the mirror that reflects the authenticity of your character, allowing your actions to resonate with a genuine and lasting impact. Consider silence as a reservoir of wisdom that allows your actions to speak louder than words. Musashi's battles were not marked by boastful declarations, but by strategic actions. Similarly, in the arena of life, Strategic silence can be the key to letting your accomplishments speak for themselves. Wisdom lies not just in what you say, but in knowing when to remain silent. In the tapestry of your journey, let silence be the canvas on which your actions paint a masterpiece. Musashi's legacy beckons you to wield the wisdom of silence, allowing it to amplify the resonance of your successes in the quiet corridors of life. As we delve into Musashi's teachings on the humility of silence, remember that the legacy you leave is not measured by the volume of your words, but by the depth of your deeds. Musashi's legacy is not only in his written words, but in the actions that inspire generations. 
May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to compose a silent symphony of actions, to wear the cloak of humility with grace, and to resist the temptation of vanity. In the legacy of inspirational deeds, let your life be a testament to the transformative power of humility and the eloquence found in the silence that accompanies your impactful actions. Number 7. Your Relationship Issues Relationships, with their ebbs and flows, are a canvas where emotions paint the tapestry of our lives. Musashi's teachings extend to the delicate realm of human connections. Let's explore the seventh principle, navigating the storms of relationship issues. Relationships, much like Musashi's duels, are arenas where emotions clash. However, unlike the solitary battles of the swordsman, relationships involve the intricate dance of two souls. Disclosing every nuance of your relationship issues can be akin to inviting a storm into your haven. Musashi's Book of Water extols the virtues of fluidity and adaptability. Apply this wisdom to your relationships. In times of turmoil, exercise the counsel of silence. Allow the emotional tempest to pass before laying bare the vulnerabilities within your relationship. Not all ears are attuned to the symphony of your relationship. Musashi's discernment in battle finds its counterpart in the art of selective sharing. Choose confidence who possess the wisdom to offer counsel without judgment or bias. Much like Musashi's sword, relationships are forged in the crucible of challenges. While seeking counsel is vital, airing every grievance in the public domain can weaken the very foundations of your connection. Embrace the teachings of resilience, allowing your relationship to emerge stronger from the fires of adversity. Imagine your relationships as a sword forged in the crucible of challenges. Much like Mizashi's blade, relationships gain strength through resilience. While seeking counsel is vital, airing every grievance in the public domain can weaken the very foundations of your connection. Embrace the teachings of resilience in relationships. Every challenge, like the blows of the blacksmith's hammer, can shape your connection into a stronger, more resilient bond. Musashi's battles were not without adversity. And similarly, relationships thrive when they endure and emerge strengthened from the fires of challenges. Contemplate the art of selective sharing in the delicate dance of relationships. Musashi's discernment in battle finds its counterpart in the realm of relationship dynamics. Choose confidence who possess the wisdom to offer counsel without judgment or bias. Not all ears are attuned to the symphony of your relationship, and the art of selective sharing ensures that your vulnerabilities are entrusted to those who can truly support you. Selective sharing is not about hiding the truth but about exercising discernment in whom you confide in. Like Musashi, navigate the intricate dance of relationships with wisdom, sharing the nuances selectively to strengthen the bonds that matter most. Consider the counsel of silence as a powerful tool in navigating the storms of relationships. Musashi's Book of Water extols the virtues of fluidity and adaptability. Similarly, in times of turmoil, exercise the counsel of silence. Allow the emotional tempest to pass before laying bare the vulnerabilities within your relationship. Silence is not a void, but a space where emotions can settle and clarity can emerge. In the counsel of silence, find the strength to weather the storms together, ensuring that the foundations of your relationship remain unshaken. Acknowledge the tempest of emotions that can engulf relationships. Musashi's battles were arenas where emotions clashed, and similarly, relationships are a dance where emotions can surge like turbulent waves. However, unlike the solitary battles of the swordsman, relationships involve the intricate dance of two souls. Recognize that not every nuance of your relationship needs to be disclosed in the heat of the emotional tempest. Exercise discernment in navigating the emotional landscape, knowing that not every storm requires immediate revelation. Like Mizashi's strategic approach to battle, choose when to engage and when to allow the emotional tempest to subside. Envision understanding as the compass that guides you through the maze of relationship challenges. Musashi's discernment in battle was guided by a deep understanding of his opponents. Apply this principle to your relationships, understanding the nuances that shape the dynamics between you and your partner. 
The compass of understanding helps you navigate the intricacies of emotions, ensuring that your responses are informed by empathy and wisdom. Like Masashi's strategic prowess, let your understanding be the guide that leads you through the labyrinth of relationship challenges, steering you towards solutions rather than entanglements. As we conclude our exploration of Musashi's teachings in the realm of relationship issues, remember that the legacy of enduring love is crafted through the storms weathered together. Musashi's life was marked not just by victories but by the enduring impact of his journey. May the wisdom of Musashi inspire you to embrace the forge of resilience in your relationships, to wield the art of selective sharing with discernment, and to navigate the tempests of emotions with the counsel of silence and the compass of understanding. In the legacy of enduring love, let your relationships stand as a testament to the strength forged in challenges, the wisdom found in silence, and the enduring power of love that weathers every storm. In the quiet corridors of Miyamoto Musashi's wisdom, we find the resonance of a profound truth, the power of silence. Guarding the sanctity of your dreams, finances, personal problems, life partner's secrets, weaknesses, success, and relationship issues isn't a retreat into isolation, but a dance with discretion. In every silence, there is strength. In every withheld word, there is wisdom. Musashi's legacy beckons us to wield the sword of discernment, cutting through the noise of unnecessary disclosure. The symphony of silence, composed by the echoes of our judicious choices, reverberates through the chambers of a purposeful life. May the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi inspire you to navigate the delicate dance of revelation and concealment, crafting a life rich in meaning, purpose, and the eloquence of selective silence.